What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Emmanuel. This is Sabalang Outdoors. Today we're here in Miami on the fish bro. I got my trolling gear, my deep dropping gear, and my jigging gear. We're heading offshore. I'm taking you guys with me. Don't go anywhere. It might be a little bit rough, a little bit windy, but we're gonna go fish and see what happens. dolphins out here hey guys oh my gosh I saw them come out of nowhere and they scared me look at that look at that wow all right guys bye <laughs> I gotta go fishing please don't follow me they're following me All right guys, the plan was to do a little bit of trolling in the morning and then switch over to doing some hang cranking and some deep dropping, but it is rough out here, guys. I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's rough. We got wet coming out here. All right guys, we're on bottom. Looking for that bite. There we go. Fish on, fish on. Whatever it is, it's small. But let me mark this school because what we have going on is there's some schools of the snappers that want to eat and there's some that just don't want to eat. I don't even know if I pulled that one off, but it's all good. We're on our way down again, guys. Hopefully we get bit. I think this drop will get bit. It's just so rough, guys, and it's so hard to fish right now. What is going on? There we go, guys. Please stay on, please. I'm begging you, please stay on. We got one coming up here, guys. I am praying it stays on. Please stay on. I hope we even still have them. Ugh. Sweet. It's a nice black fin right there. Oh. Alrighty guys, first fish of the morning, black fin snapper. As you can see, they have a black bubble right there behind their fin. And that's why they're called the black fin. These have no size limit. So I'm gonna go ahead, throw them in the box. This is the perfect frying size right here. Cause I think I found the school that's eating. So I'm gonna just target that area. Just keep slamming it back to back. Hopefully knock off our limit and go home. It is rough. Going back down. Once we hit bottom, we're gonna pay out a lot of line. Let our lead just sit down in the bottom. Hopefully once we come tight, we got some fish on. There goes another one of those black fin snappers. Didn't even know this little guy was on there, but he was on there and he's going in the box. Great frying size right here. There goes something. Hopefully it stays on. We are on the school of the black fins today, guys. Every single one has been a black fin. There we go. Another beautiful black fin snapper for the box. Once it hits the bottom, I like to pull it up just a bit. Make sure it's out of the mud or any sand. There we go, there goes a nice fish. There goes a nice fish right there.
Hopefully it's a couple snappers or maybe a jack. You never know what it is. You never know what's gonna be on bottom. Here we go, 19 meters. Awesome, got a double. Ugh. That's what I'm talking about. Phew. We're on the black fins this morning, guys. You usually catch yellow eyes here for millions, but it's like the school I'm on this morning is strictly black fins, but I am not complaining. Got him on, got him on. Got him on. We'll see what it is, guys. Another black fin. Ugh. His eyes are all blown up because of the barrel trauma. But such a beautiful fish. And they taste great. Phew. Oh, that's a nice fish there. That's a nice fish. Look at that. I don't know what that is. But it's acting big. Hopefully it's not a grouper because where we are, we can't keep them. Uh, I don't know what it is, maybe a jack. Don't tell me I pulled them off. Holy smokes! That's a giant! Holy smokes! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Look at that thing! Woo! Guys, so this is a 20 inch yellow eye snapper this is like the size you catch in the bahamas gosh that bite was something different i thought he was a grouper oh my god look at that guys what a treat we're gonna go ahead get him in the box and just get back down there wow guys this is such a treat Alrighty, guys we managed to limit out on snapper for the day even in these terrible conditions i'm so glad we made it happen now we'll be heading in i'm gonna be trolling a couple baits on the way in Maybe I get a bite, maybe I don't. If I do, I'll show you guys. And if not, I'll see you at the filet table. Alrighty guys, we are home now at the filet table and I'm getting ready to show you guys how I clean my fish hole. And I'll be using this big yellow eye snapper right here. When you're cleaning a fish hole, you can use a fork or the scaler tool. I like the scaler tool, it works a lot better than a fork. You're just gonna take it and you're gonna work your way from the tail towards the head. Alrighty guys, now our yellow eye snapper has no more scales. We're gonna take a knife and we're gonna open up the stomach next. Hear all that air coming out of there. Just cut down in there. So this is just gonna open up their stomach cavity so you can take out all of those organs that we do not want. And you will have a bunch of coagulated blood up in here. Just gonna wanna mess around with it with the knife just pick at it and then once we're done we'll spray it out it's gonna clean all of that out get all that blood out of there get everything that we do not want out of there all right guys there you have it yellow eye snapper no scales no organs no blood now we're gonna head inside and i'm gonna have my mom show you guys how we cook snapper jamaican style look at that Alrighty guys, we're in the kitchen. <laughs> Got my mom here, she's camera shy, but she'll have to get used to it. So we have the big yellow eye snapper and a couple of the other black fins that we won't be eating today. But we do have one yellow eye and the rest black fin snappers that we will be eating for dinner. 
My mom put scores in them. And now she's gonna show you guys the rest. Yeah, really? <laughs> This is just adding a little seasoning here. All right, so she's adding seasoning in the stomach cavity of the fish. And she's gonna let all the excess fall out. Just getting it in there so you have seasoning in all parts of the fish. <laughs> All right, guys, if you're wondering what seasoning we're using, this is some Port Royal fish fry. And we're rubbing it and getting it all over our snappers. Yep. And everyone knows a Jamaican's favorite fish is snapper, guys. So, everyone's in heaven right now. And if you didn't notice, my mom trimmed the tails as well as the peck fins. And then just add the seasoning like I already showed you guys. And now they are ready for the pan. So we are getting coconut oil in our pan. We're gonna let that simmer down a little bit. We're adding coconut oil and we wanna add a lot of coconut oil so when we put our fish in the pan, it completely covers the fish and the fish is submerged in the oil and it fries correctly and evenly. Now we're gonna add garlic in there as well to give our fish some additional flavor. <laughs> Scotch bonnet pepper going in. Do not use too much of that, guys. Alrighty, guys, our garlic and our pepper is turning brown. Look at oh my God. Now it is time for our fish. Alrighty guys, now we are flipping our fish. Look at that. Oh. Holy smoke. Did that get on you? Mm -mm. That would have been so bad. All right, guys, here goes our first three fish, and now we have three more. All righty, guys, another pot, coconut oil already in there. Thyme. Onion, thyme, peppers, and scallion, also known as green onion. happen to like our fish with the head on in America. Most people don't like their fish head on, but in Jamaica, if you don't have your fish head on, that's like almost a crime. <laughs> it's just kind of like additional seasoning for the broth. That's like a little bit of browning. Browning. Okay. And you're gonna add a little bit of ketchup. Lots and lots of ketchup. Uh, <laughs> a little bit of vegetable broth. Is it really? No measurements needed. No. We're, we're, we don't do measurements. Then we're going to mix that all together. Going to add that in with the veggies. Out with our second batch. Back in with all of our fish. All of them hold in there. Let's see what happens. Oh, there's one more. Go. 
Alrighty guys. There we go. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I'm not gonna show you us eating. You already know that it's gonna taste absolutely delicious. Thanks to my mom for helping us out and cooking this meal. <laughs> if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.